Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 2.1. So the problem is demonstrate the validity of the following identities. That means we are given some identities here. We have we are given A, B, C, D and E. There are five identities and we have to prove them. That means by means of truth tables. That means we have to prove these identities by means of two step. Now let us solve this problem. So the first problem is the De Morgan's theorem for three variables. So the first problem is x plus y plus z bar equal to x bar dot y bar dot z bar. Now we will make the truth table. First of all we will write down the variables x, y, z. Then we will find out x plus y plus z. Okay. Then we will find out x plus y plus z whole bar x plus y plus z whole bar then in the next column we will find out x bar y bar then z bar we will find out and finally we will find out the multiplication of this three or the n operation of this three x bar y bar dot z bar x bar y bar z bar now let us find out using three variables we have eight combinations they are 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 okay these are the eight combinations so if all of them are zero then their or operation or addition will be zero and their complement this is nothing but complement x plus y plus z whole bar so it will be one okay x bar is 0 bar means 1, y bar means 1 and 1. So x bar, y bar, z bar, if we multiply or if we do the n operation of these three ones, then we will get 1. Now let us do the second part. 0 plus 0 plus 1, it is 1. Then we have, it complement is 0. So then x bar is here 1, then y bar is also 0, complement is 1 and one complement is zero zero and similarly for all the others Okay, this is the truth table for all of this now we have to compare this column okay this one column and this one column okay. so this column represents the left hand side of this identity and this column represents the right hand side of this identity so if we compare these two columns then we can see that they are exactly the same so this identity is true therefore x plus y plus z whole bar equal to x bar y bar z bar the second part of this problem is x y z whole bar equal to x bar plus y bar plus z bar the second part is x y z whole bar equal to x bar plus y bar plus z bar similarly you have to make the table to table x y z then we'll find out x y z and x y z whole bar then we'll find out sorry then we'll find out x bar then y bar z bar and finally x bar plus y bar plus z bar x y z so it is zero it is zero if any one of these three inputs are zero it will be zero okay 0 0 0 0 0 and finally we have 1 then this this one is the nothing but complement of this column okay so it will be 1 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 and finally 0 then we have x bar so it is the complement of this column so it will be 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 then we have 0 0 0 0 then for y bar we have 1 1 0 0 
1 0 0 1 1 0 0 so the third column will be 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 now we'll find out the or operation of these three columns so if any one of these three column is 1 the output will be 1 or if all of them are 0 then the output will be 0 this one is z bar okay so 1 plus 1 plus 1 it will be 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 now if we compare this column that is left hand side and the right hand side is this one okay so this column if we compare these two columns we can say that they are exactly the same so this identity is proved with this truth table now let us go to the second part of this problem that is b the distributor x plus y z is equal to x plus y whole into x plus z x plus y z equal to x plus y whole into x plus z x y z then we will find out this y z y z and next we will find out x plus y z so now again one column we will find out x plus y x plus y then we will find out x plus z and finally we will find out x plus y whole into x plus z 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1then we have 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 here we have y z if any one of this y and z input is 0 then output will be 0 and if both of them are 1 then output will be 1 so y z will be 0 0 0 1 and again 0 0 0 1 then we have x plus y z that means we have to add this column to this one or we have to do the or operation of this column or, or this variable x with y z 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 0 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1 now let us find out this x plus y x plus y if any one of these x and y variables are 1 then the x plus y will be 1 so 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 so it will be 0 0 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 so it will be 1 1 so next we have 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 so it will be 1 1 then we have 1 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 Next we have x plus z, x plus z, 0, 0, 0, 1. So 0, 1. Then we have 0, 0, is 0, 0, 1, 1. Then we have 1 plus 0 is, any one of these input is 1, so all of them, this x input is 1, so we'll have all of them are 1. Then we have to multiply these two, or we have to do the n operation of these two. Okay, x plus y whole into x plus z. If any one of these two columns or two of these two variables are 0, then output will be 0. So it will be 0, 0, 0, 1. So it will be 1, 1, 1, 1. Now we have to compare the left hand side of this identity and the right hand side. Okay, so the left hand side is x plus yz. So this one and the right hand side is this one. So if we see these two columns, they are exactly the same. So the ident this identity is proved. So this identity is true. So these two are completed. Now let us do this C part. So the third part or C section is x whole into y plus z equal to xy plus xz. Now let us uh, prove this identity with the help of truth table. So x y z these are the variables then we will find out y plus z then x whole into y plus z then we will find out x y then we will find out x z then we will find out x y plus x z we have three variables so we will have eight combinations and for all of them we have to find out the left hand side and the right hand side value 
0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 then we have x into y plus z. x into y plus z. If any one of these two columns, that is this one column and this one column, okay. If any one of these two columns is zero, the output will be zero. Here, this one, all our four are zero, so it will be zero, 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 zero. Then we have zero, one, one, one. So these are also one, one, one. So it will be zero, one, one, one. Now we we'll, we have to find out x y, so x y will be zero 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 zero, then zero zero one one zero zero one one. Similarly, we have to find out x z. Okay, this column we have to multiply with the third column or third variable x. We have to multiply it with z x z. It will be first of four are zero 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 zero. Then for these are 1 and these are 0, 1, 0, 1. So it will be 0, 1, 0, 1. Now we have to find out this xy plus xz. So we have to add these two columns. If any one of these two columns is 1, okay, so output will be 1. So these are all 0. So it will be 0, 0, 0, 0. And it is also 0. It is 1, 1, 1. Okay, now if we compare this column and this column, that means the left hand side of this identity and the right hand side of this identity if we compare these two columns we see that these two columns are exactly the same okay so this identity is proved now let us do the fourth part of this problem so the fourth part of this problem is x plus y plus z equal to x plus y plus z x plus y plus z we have to repeat the same procedure okay x y z then y plus z then we'll have x plus y plus z then we'll have x plus y then we have to find out x plus y plus z zero 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 one zero one zero 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay y plus z if any one of these two columns or these two variables is 1 the output will be 1 so 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 if we add this column with the first column that is x plus y plus z so we'll get it will be First are 0, so it will be as it is like this one 0, 1, 1, 1. Then we'll have 1, 1, 1, 1. So it is all of them will be 1. one. Now let us find out the x plus y. x plus y will be 1, 0, 0, okay, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Then we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now we have to add this column with the z column. Okay, so it is 0, 0, so 0, 1, it will be 0, 1, 1, 1, so it will be 1, 1. This is all are 1, so irrespective of this z, it will be 1, 1, 1, 1. So if we consider this left hand side and the right hand side of this identity, we can see that they are exactly the same. So this identity is proved. Now we will do the fifth part that is section E. So the E part of this problem is the associative law x whole into y z equal to x y whole into z. So x y z then we have y z x whole into y z then x y okay then x y whole into z 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 
so yz will be 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 if both are 1 then only yz will be 1 so we get will be 0 0 0 1 then x whole into yz so these are 0 so it will be 0 0 0 then next set this one x into this one so it will be 0 these are 0 so it will be 0 0 0 and these are one, all are 1 x into 1 into 1 so it will be 1 now let us find out this xy xy will be these are all 0 x here so it will be 0 0 0 0 then all are 1 but here 0 0 1 1 so it will be 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 now we have to find out the xy whole into z these are all are 0 so up to here it will be 0 only because it is the multiplication 0 0 then now check this one that is 0 1 so it will be 0 1 now if we consider this column and this column that is the left hand side of this identity and the right hand side of this identity then we can see that these two columns are exactly the same so this identity is proved so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you